Before I hit you with a bucket load of waffle, save 5% on any of these games. Use our website switchup.gg. Just by buying your credit there, you get 5% back in coins. It doesn't affect your gold coins on the eShop. So in essence, you're getting 10% in a way. <laughs> and we get a tiny little kickback. Happy days. It's funny, isn't it? You see the huge in the title. For me, it's a bit of a meme. But when I write things like the cheapest or the lowest prices, like it has to be legit. Everything you're about to see is either matching its cheapest or it's its new cheapest ever price. And also over half of this list will be games that I think most of you will never have heard of. It's all well and good people making videos out of basically the front page of Deku Deals, but you might as well go check Deku Deals yourself if that's what you want. You should check it anyway, it's amazing. So let's get on with it, shall we? First up, we've got the winner of our free game. We give away a free game each and every week to the person who comments and uh, and I like it. So uh, well done to them. Leave a comment below and hopefully yours will rise to the top. What are some of the best pickups this week that aren't very, very obvious? Well, not all of them. <laughs> and I'm not going to talk about Dorodangos, don't worry. We've got something even better in store. Well, my name's Mark Walker. Welcome back to Switch Up. Now, let's find out. First up then, in the UK region, we've got Doomsday Hunters, one of my most addictive games of all time. This down 40%, that's the cheapest it's ever been, to £9.17. This is a really excellent roguelite. It comes from a developer called Gameplay First, and it kind of reminded me of the Chaos Engine. I don't know why, I think it's something about the artwork and the overall design of it. it just reminded me of that amazing game from back in the day. Gameplay wise though, think more along the lines of Hades. There are 160 different enemies, there are 20 different bosses to beat. And believe it or not, there's 1200 different items to find. And if you've played something like Isaac, you're going to know that it's all about finding different items and different runs. Although you might be going through some of the same areas, they feel entirely unique just because of the gear that you unlock. Brilliant game, really enjoyed it. And now at this price, an easy Easy pick up. This episode was sponsored by the publisher of Tell Me Your Story. This is an adventure puzzle game I've been playing for the last couple of days, and it focuses on the main protagonist, Amelia, who is a schoolgirl with a very vivid imagination, who's heading out on her summer vacation to her Grandma Rose's cottage, joined as always by her best mate. Peanut. Now the house itself almost acts as one of the characters here, with the different rooms and areas telling their own story. It also takes place in many other areas around the world such as Asia, Europe and even the Amazon rainforest. By the way, Peanut is uh, your little corgi dog. Now the reason you end up in all these different places is because you're following in Rose's footsteps, almost like a retelling of her life's adventures that aims to kind of link those two generations together. It's a very minimalist experience, has small minimalist puzzles, it's got a really nice chill soundtrack. Stick this one on your wish list if you like the look of it. It will have a promotional price down to $2.99 or your regional equivalent before it goes back up to its usual price of $10.99. In America that sale goes on until the 16th of May and in the EU you're looking at the 26th of May. Once again a big thanks to the publisher for sponsoring this episode. All the links to that will be down in the description. Now Warhammer 40,000 Bolt Gun is also down to its cheapest ever price, that's 30% off, which makes it £12.59 here in the UK or your regional equivalent. And this is a really nice old school first person shooter. There's a lot more going on than initially meets the eye. Now they've got their mechanic, a bit like Doom, where you can kind of use your melee weapon to travel far distances and take enemies down in one big slice you actually like i think it's either hold or tap the button to keep that chainsaw going but it slows time gives you a bullet time motion so if you like jump out of a window spin round lock onto an enemy and use it you've got that bit of time to think about where you're going to go after that kill and in that regard it gives it a real fluidity now aside from the visuals which you may or may not like there is actually in the options a setting so that you can make it less pixelated. I actually turned that down a bit and I think it looks a bit better in my opinion. This one's 2.4 gigs, really good game. We've got a full review if you want to go check it out. It has a physical available as well if you're a physical collector and that sale goes on until April the 23rd. I can't play Everspace without thinking about Interstellar. Now I know this film is a bit divisive. Some people think it's absolutely amazing. Some people think it's just terrible, but I loved it. I think for me, it's the soundtrack. Like that Interstellar, Interstellar soundtrack is it's amazing. Doesn't matter what you think of the film, like that's an incredibly good soundtrack. And I got that one on vinyl and was like, man, this is awesome. And playing through Everspace when it came out on Switch, I think it might have even come out before Interstellar released. You'll have to let me know. Hmm, not sure. 
But it's a roguelite where it carries over its story like Hades does between runs so that it feels like it's got some continuity. It doesn't just feel like you're restarting with nothing each time. You also unlock different ships. There's a later one that you can get which is basically a cloaked ship so you can stealth and go invisible. And it's brilliant. The controls need a bit of tweaking. It's another one we've got where we've got a full review so you can go and check out the tweaks that I did to my game. But yeah, the cheapest it's ever been. 80% off. That is a complete barjan. Well worth getting your uh, thrusters um, <laughs> what am I talking about? Getting your thrusters ready for? Oh, I'm keeping it in. That one's on sale until April the, tw <laughs> April the 23rd. Hopping back over the pond then, the US sees their lowest ever price on Sea of Solitude, the director's cut. Again, another review on the channel if you want to check it out. This one's actually published by Quantic Dream. You know those guys that make all of the... Uh, I don't even know what you'd call their games. They're a very unique blend, aren't they? Like Fahrenheit from back in the day. But this one's a little more fantastical, set within this flooded universe. But it's a, a, a little bit like a walking sim on water, I have to say. So if you like those things like Journey, Abzu, it has that kind of feel to it. But this director's cut had a rewritten script to make it a little bit more streamlined. The Nintendo Switch also has a few features that are exclusive to that platform. So there's gyroscope, there's a photo mode in there. So yeah, really quite a good way to play it. I don't remember there being huge performance issues. Maybe a couple of stutters here and there, but I think there were a couple of patches after I reviewed it. That sale for Sea of Solitude goes on until April the 24th. Now we just had that Indie Direct, didn't we? And there were some nice little games mentioned. I have to say a couple of ones that, um, yeah, they're good. I think it was a, it was an end of Switch Life Indie Direct, wasn't it? So there was a, a few good things and a few meh things. There is a very cool demo for a game called Europa that's worth checking out. But even that, like it's good, but I didn't think it was amazing. Like this, yeah, there's less gameplay there than I thought there would be. But I still think, you know, it looks quite nice. But they were trolling us because everyone's in the comments going, Silk Song, Silk Song, Silk Song, you know, and they're, they're releasing pay store pages for it and all sorts, all sorts of malarkey going on behind the scenes. And what is the top game on their indie sale? It's Hollow Knight, isn't it? So, so everyone's seeing that. They're looking at the Indie Direct and they're going, man, it is time. Well, it isn't time. <laughs> it's not It's not time at all. That doesn't mean you shouldn't buy Hollow Knight because it's amazing. Really good. Classic Metroidvania. Amazingly enjoyable world. There's a reason people are so obsessed with Silk Song coming out. It's because they just want more of what this team have to offer. But if you're one of the three people that haven't picked it up yet, then Team Cherry's Masterpiece is worth playing. And it will offer you about 40 to 100 hours of gameplay. I know that's quite a, mar a wide margin and actually you could rush through it much sooner. But yeah, you you'll know once you start. And it's another that does have a very cheap physical. Now Penny's Big Breakaway has actually just had a big update that allows it to run closer to 60 frames per second. I covered it in our All Patched Up series. And it, to coincide with everything else that's going on, it's got the cheapest it's ever been. A nice chunky minus 34% until April the 29th. And do not discount this game based on its uh, colorful art style. If, even if you don't like it, the gameplay is amazing. Your yo-yo can be ridden around. It's all physics based in that regard when you're moving. You're trying to avoid penguins, moving your way through these stages, using that yo-yo to do special moves in the air, it can kind of keep you off the ground. A bit like that move in Monster Hunter Rise where you zip line into the sky and then swing about a bit. If you know, you know. By the way, that's also on sale, but I'm not going to mention it, it's too obvious. Penny's Brig Breakaway is excellent. Very impressed with the game overall. And at this price, I think it is worth considering. We do have a dedicated video on it as well, if you want to go look at that. Now, I was chatting last week, wasn't I, in the episode about how much I'm enjoying Fallout. I mean, I've watched it twice through in its entirety now. I think it, it was very good. I do think, I'm not sure, there's certain storytelling aspects I don't think they got quite right. There are a couple of bits where it's just a bit unusual. Like, uh, no, no spoilers. I mean, like, first episode spoilers, or is it second? And I'll be very vague here. But the interaction with the Brotherhood of Steel between um, the main guy and, uh, let's just say, his friend, the interaction between them two was a little bit unusual. It was a bit, not forced, but it was just strange the way it, it played out. And then by the end of the series, it just didn't flow quite right. Yeah, let me know what you think. 
Anyway, the reason I mentioned the Outer Wilds, or Worlds, sorry, not Wilds, that's a different game entirely, is it reminds me of Fallout, and it's the closest you're going to get to an Obsidian Classic on Switch. You can get the version that includes all of the DLC as well, it's cheapest ever price, so you could go for that one. But we'll just talk about the base game here, because there's still a ton of content. You're looking at first person, almost classic RPG. It doesn't have VATs, so you don't slow down time, but you do have some moves that actually do slow down time but they don't allow you to lock onto enemies in the same way as fallout did but to all intents and purposes it's the same game really i know some people are going to be upset by me saying that but it really is like same engine same quest styles you go to different planets so it's like starfield but at half price yeah certainly one to consider even with the slightly and use slightly with a pinch of salt less impressive visual quality than the pc version so then we've got four games back to back that i think could be considered hidden gems the first of those hidden gems is the game the pedestrian this is so cool i hadn't heard or seen anything about this we got dave to do a review for us and he absolutely loved it it's like a mixture of a platformer and a puzzle game but it all plays out on signs and bits of buildings and stuff as you can see, you can control your character, but you can also click together different parts in a modular way to allow you to traverse to the other areas. But then there's only certain ones that can be attached in certain places. And the whole time, you're actually moving through the real world with this visual story playing out. Such a cool idea. And yeah, down to this price, I mean, it was... I still think it was good value at its full price, but a lot of people wouldn't take a punt on something, you know, they're not, I don't know something that you're not too familiar with i guess a style that you've not tried before plus it is a little shorter about four to six hours long but at 35 percent off down to about 12.99 dollar 99 or your regional equivalent yeah really good game go check out his review Another very recent release is Across the Obelisk, an absolutely brilliant deck builder this, uh, massively underrated. If you like things like Slay the Spire or really anything that involves deck building, then the unique element to this one is that it can be played in co-op. Now you can either do that online or no, no, it is online only, isn't it? <laughs> or you can play solo on your own, but it's a massive deck builder. There's over 500 different cards in there, 16 different characters. You choose a party and then kind of go out like a classic tabletop adventure. And then the different party members have their own decks of cards. Yeah, another that we have a full video of, like most of the things we talk about on the channel, because we want to actually be talking about stuff we know, and it's already dropped down 20% to its cheapest ever price. It may be a little more expensive than some of the others, but in terms of the amount of gameplay you're getting, there's the potential here for hundreds of hours. Great game from Paradox. That sale goes on until April the 24th. Wave Tail is also down to its cheapest price, 65% off, you're having a laugh. This sees you almost like ice skating across water. I love it when a game gives you freedom of movement. I think that's one of my favorite things actually in modern, in like any game really, especially if it's like an action adventure, narrative driven experience. We saw it in Sea of Solitude. You see it to degrees in things like The Legend of Zelda now where that you're like gliding across the beautiful plateau. But Wave Tail really embraces it as a gameplay mechanic. It helps you to zip between different islands, get more of the storyline. There is some combat here that has a lock on mechanic. It's okay, it's nothing really to write home about, but it's that overarching story. It's one of those encapsulated experiences. You'll spend four, four or five hours and it'll be memorable. You'll think, oh actually, yeah, that was like going to watch a decent film that similar kind of thing and down 65% off its base price this is much more where I would say it should be priced that sale goes on until May the 8th last but not least then and I am almost positive most of you will never have heard of this I was playing this earlier on it's called Solar Ash now it's actually from a very big company it's from Annapurna Interactive who published loads of amazing games but it's developed by Heart Machine that's the same Heart Machine that made Hyperlight Drifter. I know, I didn't know it was out either. Maybe you knew and I, maybe I'm the only one that didn't know this had come out. But it released on Switch at the tail end of last year and it has that Hyperlight Drifter style to it, but with a fully open 3D world. But they have the perfect implementation of what I was just talking about in the other game, where you like skate across the, the landscapes and then do double jumps. It has such a flow to it. There are environmental puzzles, enemies to fight as well. It's a great little game. Take about eight hours to finish. Visually, it does do quite a bit of dynamic resolution scaling. So you do see some drops in terms of quality when you're in those massive areas because it's trying to maintain that 30 FPS frame rate. But it never looks shockingly bad. It's half price at the moment. As I say, that's the cheapest it's ever been and that's until april the 24th 
So then we have our Savaloy selection, our Fed Cooks, our Costco hot dogs, our games that are cheaper than three quid or three dollars. A quid is a pound to that one person that always types. They always type what is a quid. First up at 90% off, you've got Umarangi Generation Special Edition, which is my pickup of the week because it was so cheap. And with a name like that, I couldn't resist. So it's a first person photography game, which I didn't expect at all. I saw the visuals and was like, oh yes, let's get the guns out. But uh, no. No, no, you actually have to complete different photo bounties. And in this special edition, it includes a DLC as well as gyro controls. And I had a blast. It didn't take me long to finish, maybe like a couple of hours, but to complete everything in about four or five and for just over a quid, like that is such a gem. For reference, I think it's got a Metacritic of like 81%. Then you've got Haven Park. Now, if you enjoyed a short hike, Haven Park has similar vibes to that. It's 56% off at the moment and that's until April the 24th. Post Void is down 70% to 149. This is a first person shooter, a really short, completely bonkers blast that will basically make you feel like you've been down to the allotment and collected up every mushroom you could find. Like this is just, well, you can probably see, look at it. <laughs> It's £1.49 at the moment, easy pick up. Crawl is an arcade dungeon crawler that has a different spin in the fact that you basically play as the monsters. You can play with up to four people where your mates are actually controlling the horrible things that are going on. So a really interesting twist on the formula with different monster suppliers, as I say, 60 of them in total. And finally, I had to mention Broken Age, 75% off from Double Fine, the guys that bought us the Monkey Island games back in the day. And this is an excellent adventure featuring two characters in completely different scenarios and worlds. And you can flip between the two at your leisure. Really does start out in a strange way. The ceremony, um, yeah, <laughs> is interesting, that's for sure. So that's it for this week. Some amazing games. Save 5% on any of them. And your eShop credit, if you're in the right regions, that is. Go to switchup.gg, buy your credit there, and you'll instantly get 5% back in coins that you can spend whenever you want. And you still get your Nintendo coins. And as an added bonus, we get a tiny little kickback. So happy days. Thanks to our Patreons, our members, to all of you that enjoy the content. And as always, for all things Switch, all the time, keep a Switch up. Cheers, guys. See ya!